How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be cleaning the exhaust tips on my 2003 Saab 93 Arc because as you can see they are extremely filthy and I know that some of you guys are already going to be commenting wondering why I'm not cleaning the exhaust tips on my Turbo X. These are probably going to be a lot more difficult to clean. I'm probably actually going to polish these if I ever decide to clean them at some point but I kind of like them looking black as it kind of goes with the whole theme of the car. But that's just me. So while this is still steaming a little bit, get some nice ASMR shots, I guess. So for this video, we're actually I saw this on online. The camera will focus here. Um, I got this. It's kind of like a cookware and like kitchen cleaner. Um, but I heard it's supposed to work really good on exhaust tips. So we have that. Then we just have our Scotch Brite, and then of course we have our cup of warm water. So this should be a pretty simple process. These tips are very filthy as you can tell. So I guess with that being said, let's just go ahead and get started. And pardon me for both of my cars being absolutely filthy. The Turbo X worse than uh, the Arc for sure, but they're both hopefully going to get a wash sometime soon. I don't know. I've been, I've been very lazy. We're just going to put a little bit of this. Oh, that came out quicker than I thought. Okay. Just gonna put some of that on there. Let's just kind of try to not make a mess with it. Dip it in the water. We're gonna start scrubbing. I'm gonna clean the outside first because that's the part that's less dirty. I'm gonna put a little bit more on here, dip it back in the water, and then uh, I guess go for the inside, the really bad part. <laughs> yeah, the Scotch Brite's definitely ruined. I'm just gonna scrub off this one a little bit. Well, you guys can see the difference. So you can see the little mess I've got going right here that came out. The fuel can inside this one, you can see it's very clean and that was from a very short time of scrubbing. And this one is just completely pitch black on the inside. So now I'm gonna get the other one. I just wanted to show you guys that difference because I think that's pretty amazing that it cleaned it that easily. And I mean, the scotch Bright is pretty much done but I think it'll be able to make it through the rest. And use the abrasive side a little bit too, help get off anything that might be stuck on there. It's an absolute mess how much carbon buildup and stuff is in here. This is ridiculous. These have not been cleaned since I got this exhaust on, and that was about three years ago. So, needless to say, it probably needed it. I need to go get some more paper towels though. So there you have it guys, this is probably just about the cheapest and easiest way that you can clean your exhaust tips. I mean, three pack of Scotch-Brite was like $2.99, this was $3.99, so not bad at all. Um, and I, I think that that is a world of a difference. It brought some shine back, and they're not perfect. In fact, I might scrub it a little bit more. So I think what I'm gonna do actually, just for shits and giggles, is try it on the Turbo X tips and just see what happens because I mean this thing is just so filthy so why not start by cleaning those so you guys can probably tell right off the bat the Turbo X ones are probably about 50 times worse so I don't know how much this is actually going to do on these exhaust tips putting a towel down this time doesn't make a huge ass mess Yeah, so uh, as you guys can probably see, 
that hasn't really done shit. And I've been scrubbing longer on this single exhaust tip than I did on the entire exhaust on the other car. So I'm going to give it a little bit more because I know it's not going to clean it completely, but I figured I'd still try. And I'll have to come back another time with like some actual polish and stuff. But I'm gonna just try and get rid of all this black right here and kind of just get this outside edge clean at least. So they definitely look a little bit better, but I just even took a wire brush to it for a little bit and this stuff does not want to come off. So I think I'm just going to leave it like that. So compared, I mean it has some shine around the edge now, especially compared to the other one. So I'm going to do the same to this side now and I think I'll be done. Here is the unfinished result I guess. That's about as good as it's going to get with what I have for today. I suppose in the future I can go back in and actually get like all this grime that's just it almost feels like it's rusted on inside here although the tip itself isn't rusted. That's just kind of like what it feels like. So the Turbo X still needs some work for sure but there's a little bit of shine to the tips now so they definitely do look better. I'm glad I did it but the arc is really what this video was about, and those tips look way better for sure. So, with that being said, I'm gonna go inside, clean my hands off, I already did, and they're still absolutely disgusting. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.